students how are you hope you are doing good adarsh vidyalaya matriculation higher secondary school welcomes you for online class students will start with our chapter 5 more on powerpoint 2007 and this is session 1 under this we'll see what is numbered list what do we be proofing slides and different slide views and we'll have quick recall and questions for the session ready so next is the numbered list how to give a numbered list where you have here the list so when we write a grocery list we write fruits list we write vegetables right list and our parents always have a monthly grocery list isn't it nice before going for shopping we'll write the grocery list and we'll go so what are the how we'll write the list we'll use 1 2 3 we'll you can use a b c d or you can use capital a b c d roman letters etc so what do you mean by bulleted some symbols will use isn't it for example dot symbol star symbol so like this balloon symbol like this we'll use for the bulleted symbol so now you understand what is numbered and bulleted symbol so how to give the symbols for this list see listen first you type the content then you select the list and i have highlighted bulleted list and numbered list can you view so in this you can select and give your bullet or numbering for your list So now we'll come to bulleted list and numbered list. In the left, can you find the bulleted list? Different different symbols are there. And in right side, can you find numbered list? One, two, three, A, B, C, D, Roman letters and small A, B, C, capital A, B, C, etc. So these are called as numbered list. Clear, students? So how to rem remove bulleted or numbered list? Yes. So first you select the existing bulleted or numbered list. Next, click the bullet and numbering option of your list. Next, you can click the uh, command so you can toggle off and on. Yes, first time if you give, it will give uh, it enable on option. When you give again, it will go for off off option. Yes, so if you want a bullet, you can give for on. If you don't want, you can go for off. So this is how we toggle off and on to remove your bullet or numbered list. So next is the proofing feature. What do we proofing feature? For example, whatever the content we type, we want to type without error. So, what does without error, without any mistakes, right? So, even though if we have typed, sometimes it will come in red color underline that shows it is mistakes over there. So, we have to correct it. So, how to correct the correct those mistakes? So, first one, give a right click on that red color underline word. For example, you see, I have uh, typed whenever with the mistakes, so it come in the red color underline. So when I give a right click on that, can you find a correct option showing for me whenever? Yes. So I can select that correct spelling. Okay, in the list, or else I can use ignore all. So uh, generally, it is not advisable to give ignore all. If we give in ignore all, isn't that it? We are skipping those mistakes. So we have to. Correct those mistakes, right? And last is we can give add to dictionary. Suppose if it is the correct word and if it is new word, it is not. It is giving an underline. If you are sure, you can give it as add to dictionary. As but you should not give this option in a blank way. Is add to dictionary. So always we have to correct those mistakes. So how to use the spelling check feature? Right click on that underlined word. A menu will appear. So select the correct spelling of the word from the listed suggestion. Left click the Correct word. It will appear in the document. It will change and it will appear in the document correctly. Or you can use ignore all and add to dictionary also. Clear, students? How to add a word to the dictionary? Right click the underlined word. A menu will appear. Select add to dictionary. Once the word add to the dictionary, it will not appear as underline. Okay, right. Next, we'll come to the slide views. So, how many views are there in PowerPoint? Four views are there. How many views are there? Four views are there. What are they? Normal view, slide shorter view, slide show view, notes page view. Have it in your your thoroughly. So, what is this normal view? This normal view is the default view. So generally, what generally we will open, we start typing a PowerPoint, isn't it? That is the normal view. This is the default view. And next is the slide shorter view. It is also called as thumbnail view or miniature view. Thumbnail now, what do you mean thumb? We know what is thumb finger, isn't it? So the size of the view will be in the thumb size. Next is miniature. Mini means small. So 
these are the other name for your slide shorter view thumbnail view and miniature view is next i will show you how it will be looking like okay don't worry next is slide show view so slide show view is the audience view after whenever we present to a huge crowd or any way the view which we show is the audience view audience view you will see the clear presentation is right next notes page view what is notes page view this is the notes we take additional notes for our slide for example for uh, any link or to be shared additionally for our understanding purpose we can add a notes in that notes page view it is also called as speaker notes so these are the four views right so we will see uh, in the picture wise how these four views will be looking like yes so how where you have to select and see these views can you find the view which i have highlighted in that can you see the all the four views which is i have shown normal slide shorter notes page view slide show view so normal view is where you create and edit your slides slide shorter view is a miniature slides or arranged on the screen in this view next slide show view this fills the entire screen of your computer yes next is notes page view it's a space for presentation notes which are often called as speaker notes for example any additional information about the slide if you want you can write you can type in that presentation is and you can have it for your own use it is only for our understanding right it will be not shown to the audience or anybody those are viewing those slides is first one which you are seeing is the normal view this is the normal view which you already know where you can type and edit your content next is notes page view can you see at the top is your the slide which you have typed and down part is your notes which you will be using regarding that slide means you can type your content for your understanding purpose this is called as speaker notes or presentation notes next is the slide shorter view what is the other name for slide shorter view thumbnail view or miniature view so whatever the slides how many slides you have typed can you find the small small view of it so this is the slide shorter view so next is the slide show view so this is the, it occupies the entire screen of the computer screen so this is your slide show view it is also called as audience view next we have a quick recall of the session what we have discussed in the session bullets and numbering adding bullets removing your bullets and numbering next proofing slides how to correct your mistakes isn't it means what are the ways in correcting your mistakes next last it is slide views the four different slide views normal view slide shorter view slide show view notes page view are you clear students so here comes the questions for the session you can go through questions and you can find the answer in the video itself is write and post back in the corresponding group how to add bullets and numbering how to remove bullets and numbering what are the sp spelling check features available in powerpoint 2007 and what are the different slide views available next is the match the following questions yes you can go through the questions yes and you can find the correct option for it i hope you can find the answer correctly Hey students it's time to say bye bye thank you